Hi guys, this is Ben from Charger Labs. Today we are going to review the Blitz Wolf BWPL4 45 watts USB-C power delivery charger. So this charger has a rated maximum output of 45 watts. I'm going to show you the spec here. It's on the side. You can see the different output levels here. So. On the box, it didn't say the protocol it support except the PD. So it actually support uh, both power delivery and Qualcomm Quick Charge protocol. So it's compatible with most uh, flagship smartphones that have fast charge capabilities. The build quality is pretty good. It's very sturdy. And it has a single USB-C output. There is a LED, it will light up when the power is connected. The panel has a special pattern on it. It's hard to see, but it's kind of like carbon fiber material here. It's pretty small for a 45 watt USB-C charger, but since it's Euro plug, so it's, the prongs are not foldable. On cap for comparison, this is Zimi Turbo 45 watt USB C charger. I have another Blaze Wolf USB C charger that's rated at uh, 30 watt. You can see the 45 watt is not a lot bigger. Let's see here, Let's see like this. Uh, let's, let me show you the weight. Okay. Let's just go. Turn it on. The 45 watt, 125 grams. The 30 watt, 94 grams. So about 20, 30 grams more. It's pretty light for 45 watts. Now I'm gonna show you the charging protocols and power output levels with the Power Z KM001C. USB power monitor. So let's plug it in. First, we will go to option four with the function uh, with the direction key. Protocol and select auto. So in this option, it will detect all the fast charging protocols it supports. So we can see it supports BC 1.2, DCP, and Apple 2.4 amps. Protocol. Also, it supports QC 3.0 PPS, that's 5 to 12 volt, and also USB power delivery 3.0. Next, we will go to another option, exit. We go to option 5 and use the sniffer function. It will show all the output levels of the USB power delivery protocol. Now I'm going to show you the charging speed when charge different smartphones. So first we will charge some iPhones. To charge our iPhone, we will need a USB-C to lightning cable. So I have one here, USB-C and lightning, plug it in. This is iPhone XS, let's plug it in. It takes some time. Now it's Apple, yeah. Now it's fast charging. So it's power delivery protocol at nine volts. The charging speed is about 15 watt. So now let's do the iPhone 10R. Plug it in. Yeah, about 17 watts and 9 volts. It's iPhone 10 as Max. Seventeen, about 17 watts and 9 volts. So that's all the iPhones.
Now I'm gonna use the USB-C to USB-C cable to test other USB-C charged smartphones. First, we will test the Galaxy X8. About 12 to 13 watts and 5 amps. The LG G4. Fifteen watts at nine volts, fourteen volts. Now the Huawei P twenty Pro. So about 14 watts at 9 volt level. Well, we made 10. About 16 to 17 watts at 9 volt. This is one plus 6T. It doesn't support power delivery and quick charge 3.0, so it's regular speed. Seven and a half watt. Now the Sony XC Premium. So about 11 watt. N now let's do the 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch here. It can reach about 27 watt at 15 volts level. I also have a bunch of USB-C power banks here, so I can show you how fast. This one is from Zendor, so the maximum input is 45 watts. Yeah, that's exactly 45. This one is from Xiaomi Mi Power Bank Pro. It doesn't support USB power delivery even though it has a USB-C port for input, but it supports Quick Charge 3.0. Let's try this as well. So the maximum input of the power bank is actually only rated at 18 watt, but we frequently see chargers that can charge it at a speed of about 20 watt. Yeah, it's about 21 watt for the Blitz Wolf charger. Now I'm going to test two laptops. One is the Apple MacBook Pro 13 inch, the 2018 version. Another one is the newly released Huawei MateBook 13. So first the MacBook. So for MacBook, it doesn't charge very fast if the lid is closed. Let's open the lid. 
Uh, Dagged. Now it's about 25 watt. The MacBook 13 charges faster, usually based on our testings. So it takes a bit of time to go up to the maximum charging speed. Now it's doing about 41 watt. So I think this charger is pretty good. It's compatible with most uh, smartphones and it's fairly small for the size, except the Euro plug. So if you live in the EU, you don't have a choice for things like this with foldable phones. I think that's a worse buy. So stay tuned, we have more products reviews coming very soon. See you next time.